Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be building a very short part that will kind of look at weathers of uh, these 10 cities and see if the weather is above 60 degrees. So it will give a little pop up at the end uh, to uh, give us an alert to saying that the weather is uh, more than 60 degrees. If the weather is less than 60 degrees, it will kind of ignore them. So this is the list that we'll be using. I just know that this list can be a lot longer. This is just a small bot and I wanna make sure that I'm able to complete in time. So I'm just using 10 CDs. So this is the bot I created. First, I'll run the bot to show you how it works and then I'll go through each step of the bot, how it was created and what, uh, uh, each of these activities are doing so let's uh see the bot in action and then we'll go through the bot both through the code as well So what the bot is doing is it is going to um, Google Chrome and it is uh, looking for weather of a different city. So now it is going to Houston. It is giving me alert that, hey, Houston temperature is 76 degrees. I'll press OK here. Now it's checking weather for Phoenix. Phoenix is 55. Uh, now Philadelphia is 56. Uh, now San Antonio is 77. So it was giving me alert that temperature San Antonio is 77 degree. Now it's going to San Diego weather. So it's less than 60, so no alert. Now Dallas is more than 73, so I'll get a little alert saying that Dallas temperature is 73 degrees. San Jose is 49, so no alert for this. And that is the bot is completed. So you saw the bot kind of went through everything in the list and uh, it kind of gave us an alert for each temperature that was about 60 degrees. Yeah, so um, let's. Uh, go through on um, this code to see how this how i built this part so the first this is like a main sequence where everything is going to happen and then there's a read range activity where it is reading the excel file as an end uh, as an input the excel file is uh, this one over here so it is reading this excel file as an input and then uh, here the output is going to be data table so i made the output as a cd so whenever the excel speed will come in it will be converted to a list or a data table and then i'm using it to, i'm using this uh this activity to only look for sheet one and i'm not giving it any range so what it does what it is going to do is uh grab that uh add to that uh spreadsheet and then convert that into a data table and after that the bot will go to uh chrome browser and then open google.com and then what it will do it it will go through each list each city in the list so each city will be a new york uh, los angeles chicago houston phoenix and will go to it one by one so first it will go and uh it will uh, type in in the search bar uh, the first city name. So it will be, I think it will be New York. And then uh, weather. It will also, uh, so, so it will type in New York and weather. So, and then I'll press enter after that. And uh, then, so if we put uh, New York City weather, so then it will grab whatever is here. So right now it is 56. It will grab that 56 uh, and uh, save that in a variable temperature or temp. 
uh, so this will be as a, st a string and then I want to I have a f condition over here that will parse that string into an integer and then check to see if the value is greater than 60. So if the value of the temperature is greater than 60 it will give a little message box at the end that will say weather alert uh, uh, Houston or New York weather is uh, more than 60 or Houston weather is more than 60 uh, It's 60. It will give uh, uh, a little message alert and then it will go back. So it will press back. So every time it um, Check the temperature for one CD. It will press this button on its own go back and then type in the next CD. so it will keep doing that until there are no cities left in this list. So if I add 50 CD here, it will go through each CD one by one and give me alert after the end uh, of each city if the temperature is more than 60 degree. And after it, uh, after the bot goes through each list, uh, each record and uh, the list is completed at the end, it will give a short message saying that mission is complete. Uh, this is just uh, a very short bot and I have it set up to give a message uh, at the end uh, if the temperature is more than 60 but you can do a lot more things with it you can hear instead of sending a message you can have like a send email you know you can have a um, send email activity that will send an email uh, using that temperature so you will have to kind of add this information over here the account you want to use and things like that and it will send email to whoever you want to with that uh, temperature alert uh, it can also save all these temperature uh, in a data table and then at the end kind of gives you a, a spreadsheet uh, it will look like this. So it will look like this with the city and the temperature for that city. You can do that. Uh, you can do a lot more things. Uh, this is just a short part. So I have designed in a shortest amount of time. Um, please let me know if you have any recommendation or you would like to uh, see some other bot in action or anything that you would like uh, to be automated. Uh, I can definitely uh, make some more videos related to that as well. So um, please subscribe to my channel for and like uh, uh, for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, thank you.